Hi Capricorn, welcome to your connection reading for August 10th through September 9th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the recommend a reader shout out which goes to Channeled Guidance Tarot. She also does private readings, just saying. Much love and support to her. Hopefully you get a chance to stop by, check her out, show her some love and support if you like what she has to say. This is intended for a romantic love reading. It may resonate in other areas of your life, such as friends, family, money, um, job, work, or career. All right, so Capricorn, let's take a look at your connection. This could be from somebody from the past, like what's still keeping you connected. This could be somebody new or someone you're currently with. It's all about that connection you still feel for a person or feel for a person. All right, Capricorn. Full disclosure, I got Gemini bouncing around in my head, so I don't know if you're dealing with somebody with strong Gemini in their chart, but I got I got Gemini flying around in my head. All right, Capricorn. Capricorn. It happened when I was shuffling, so it's not like I'm thinking about, you know, okay. Chariot. This could be Cancerian here. Wheel of Fortune. Star, Page of Cups, Three of Cups, the Hierophant, Knight of Cups. Right. Okay, so you could be dealing with Aquarius, Cancerian, Taurus, Scorpio. All right. Hmm. So this is interesting. Is this something new or is this? Is this someone that is coming back into the picture that you've been, there's been a separation, but now all of a sudden they're reaching out again, boobies, Bo boobies, and they're reaching out again. Wow. Look at this. Hair of fat, three of cups, knight of cups, page of cups. What is going on here? What is this star card about? What's going on here? The star card. Okay, wanting some time to figure out your options. Confused about how you feel, wanting to. Did somebody just enter the picture, re enter the picture? Either re enter the picture or want to take it to the next level, and you're like, I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel. What's this Page of Cups about? For Capricorn. Temperance, that could be Sagittarius. Oh. What else for a page of cups? Well, that's interesting. Okay. Ace of swords. What's this wheel of fortune about? This wheel of fortune. Oopsie. Okay. Hair fent. This is hair fent about. Death. What's this knight of cups about for Capricorn? What's this knight of cups for Capricorn? That could be Scorpio. Four of Cups. Okay. What's this? Three of Cups. So this on it. Okay. All right. So it looks like there was an offer on the table. And instead of it progressing forward, this is like, I don't think it's going to work. I need some time to see how I feel about this. This is a karmic connection for those of you that look at life being balanced that way as far as things coming back around again to play back out in a different scenario this is someone that you have deep ties with um and it feels like there's still a love and a caring there it's just for whatever reason you two have decided like i don't know if this is going to work so they i think this is someone that is like okay i'm gonna let you uh take some time i'm gonna take some time for myself and focus on how i feel and see if if you know what i want and this is someone that might be trying to cut ties with you just because it's probably really hurtful that you two can't be together. But I don't think they hold any ill will. I think they, there just might be some disappointment that this is, you know, that you two might be breaking up. Like that this might not work out. I think there's some disappointment with that. That things have changed to the point where this might not be salvageable um, or that you the fact that we didn't decide to move on together, that's kind of the end of the situation altogether. And 
it, I think this is someone that doesn't want to stick around anymore while you're dating or while you're figuring things out. I think they are feeling like they need to shift the focus back to themselves out of self-preservation. That they just can't be worried about what you want anymore or, or because it's, 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 a, it's very stressful for them. They feel like, you know, I'm tired of waiting um, and it makes me feel like less of a person that you still haven't been able to make a decision about us moving forward. And I think they want to keep things civil and fair and kind, but it, it is painful for them. This could be a marriage that is ending. And this person, because it seems like they, they feel like you might be open-ended about this, like you don't really have a time frame on getting back to them or deciding how you feel, this is somebody that might take the initiative and end it themselves because as much as they don't want to, they're like, well, I don't want to wait around another six months to have you come back and go, yeah, you know, we really should end this or not be involved. So it looks like someone's just, it can't, it's, it's going to be too um, anxious or feel like, you know, we've been here before and I've always been the one that wanted this more and I just can't do this anymore. I can't deal with knowing that you've got other interests and other focus and I'm not made a priority. Like you don't choose me. You always choose the fun or going out or this over here or that over there or even cheating. Like you're always kind of prioritizing you yourself and what you want other than me. And so it feels like your person doesn't want to wait for you to not choose them because they feel like you're not going to. They feel like they need to end it or they're gonna have to be the one to end it because you might be taking your time um, in the name of confusion or option. Maybe this is someone that wants to be exclusive. And I mean, we've got the seven of cups and the three of cups here, and that's all about a lot of choices, a lot of, not distractions, but just a lot of options and choices. And and it could be a matter of priority priorities also that with the three of cups choosing that over this, choosing this person over that person, that type of thing. So I got the juxtaposition flying in here, which means all of a sudden, like it's, it's getting mixed. It's like, wait, who are you talking about? Wait a minute. <laughs> but anyway, so if you were thinking of an offer about, or if, sorry, if you were thinking about an offer, um, I feel like this is saying don't take it, don't offer, and don't take it. I don't know why you'd be offering, but um, because it looks like your person is kind of feeling like they need to do a preemptive strike and cut off the connection, cut off the offer, do something. Even though they might feel a certain way, um, I think they feel like they don't, they, they, I think they feel too vulnerable wanting to wait. I think they feel like you're not gonna choose them anyway. And I think that in and of itself, the damage is done because they weren't an immediate choice. Like it wasn't glaringly obvious, like before they could even finish the sentence, you were like, I choose you. I don't think that they, so even if you did come back after all this time or after you know a couple of months or whatever time you, you needed to figure out your choices, figure out your options, even if you were dating at the time and they were like, you know, I really can't be with someone that wants to be with other people also, even if you took a couple of months and they said, you know what, I really do want to be with you, the damage is done. For whatever reason, they, they we got the death card here. This is not something that they want to deal with anymore. It's just, it's taken its toll on them. So this could be a marriage. I mean, we could be, you know, this could be someone going, you know what, I kind of have had it with the cheating. Could be that but it is if there's any kind of offer to connect or renewal or like hey I just need some time and then I, I'm gonna find my way back to you nope don't take that from them and don't offer that so don't as far as any kind of offer it, I don't think it's gonna be it could be that because this person does care, but they're starting to feel like they need to protect themselves. We got the Page of Cups and the Four of Pentacles here. So 
maybe this is about, you know, doing your business or get off the pot, like making a decision. But I feel like, honestly, Capricorn, I feel like it's too late. I feel like if you were to make a decision, I mean, this is open-ended. This is open-ended. This is to be continued. This is, we don't know. But I feel like if you were to make an offer, I don't know. I mean, we got the death card and the nine of swords here. I'm not sure that this person could rebound. I feel like this is a no-fly zone, like not about accepting an offer. Um, pulling back, withdrawing, and protecting yourself, both of you. This one's hurt, so they're going to want to just kind of distance themselves from this. And I feel like you're like, you know, I'm just not ready, but I'll, I'll offer it for the name and the in sake of stability and preservation. But it's not... It's not what you want, and they're going to know it, and they're, they're going to withdraw anyway. Because in their mind, they feel like they've been through enough, and they don't like that they weren't an obvious choice to you. So no offering and no accepting an offer, because your heart's not in it. Right, what else for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn? Okay, wasn't expecting that. Toxic and voice. Hmm. For me, I don't feel like this is toxic. I think for the other person, they might think it is because they feel like they're waiting. They feel like, you know what, I just can't take this anymore. We. We could have cheating here, seven of cups and three of cups. We could have somebody that's kind of waiting for you to, to get it out of your system. And somewhere along the way, it took its toll. And before they even realized it, they're like, I can't do this anymore. They didn't plan on having that feeling. They didn't think that that would happen. But lo and behold, someone inadvertently, unknowingly got kind of fed up and was like, I can't do this anymore. I didn't see this coming. I thought I'd, we'd be able to work through it, but all of a sudden there's been this ending and I don't know what the heck's going to happen because this ending, the way I feel, it has surprised me. And I think it's best instead of waiting for you, you know, to, to kind of decide this, all of a sudden I feel like I need to end this because I just don't want to wait around for you anymore, Capricorn. That would be what they're saying. So this is part of, that's part of them expressing their voice, honestly. I know that's kind of hokey, but... I, I feel like this person might have been kind of passive and hopeful and very patient. <laughs> and all of a sudden now, you know, they're getting vertical on it and going, you know what? This is how I feel. This I just can't anymore. And this is kind of an active stance for them when usually they might be much more passive or um, softer or soft spoken about things. This is someone kind of taking an active stance on something. And it's gotten to the point where it very quickly, or it, not quickly, it could be getting into that toxic area. We got the seven of cups again and the three of cups, and that's kind of starting to dance on that line of unhealthy habits, bad habits. This could be toxic for that person because they're staying in a situation where they're not valued um, because they feel that you, Capricorn, are choosing other things and that they're not an obvious priority. And for them to stick around, it could be that this is this turns very toxic for them because it's just, I mean, look at this Nine of Swords here. It's been eating away at them, this issue. All right, what else for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn? Again with the Seven of Cups. Good gracious. So we got it here, and then we've got the Three of Cups. So Seven of Cups, again with the kind of diversified options. And it's this feels kind of deliberate, like someone's deliberately keeping all the balls in the air because they know if they, there's that intensity about them. So if they do commit to one thing, they go for it full force to the exclusion of everything else. And it feels like, um, Whoever this is doesn't want that. They want the distractions. They want to keep everything. This could also be um, workaholic. 
This could be somebody that just is pulled in different, got so many things going on all the time because they just constantly feel that drive. So, and this is somebody that's very busy, but it could also be somebody that's kind of anxious, you know, dealing with some anxiety. So uh, we got anxiety here. Um, this could also be someone that just wants to keep their options open. Either way, we got two seven of cups here, and that's kind of doubling down on the fact that this is might be you telling them, you know, I just need more time, and they're like, I, I just can't give it to you anymore. I can't deal with you having all these other options all the time and not simplifying your life so that we can finally have a connection, and then it can be about both of what we want, and we can kind of start together. Okay. This is someone that feels they weren't made a priority. That's okay. What else for The sad thing is, I think they I think the way they feel has surprised them. I don't think they were expecting to feel this way. That they're done, they just didn't realize they were done. I think and because of that, they feel like they're like, well, there's no sense in waiting because I don't need to wait for you anymore because I feel like I need to end this because I got to start taking care of myself. And maybe, you know, because this to me is always about to be continued. So it's not done, done, but it looks like it is though for this person. And this could be like, you know what? I don't know what else is out there for me in the future. I have no clue. I just know that I can't be in this situation anymore. Maybe I was hopeful that things would turn around, you know, being hopeful that things would reverse course and there would finally be that coming around. But it looks like this person is going to, is realizing or has realized, going to realize very soon that it's never going to be in their time frame and they've got to cut it loose or it's going to be, start to become really unhealthy for them if it hasn't already. So even though they might have wanted it at one point, all of a sudden they're kind of surprised. Like they know now that in their heart of hearts, they know that this is just over. I just can't anymore. I don't think they wanted to feel that way. But now knowing that they feel that way, they feel like they need to take action on those feelings. What else for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn? All right, so we've got, whoopsie. Okay, so we've got the Wheel of Fortune reversed and the six, uh, seven of pentacles. Again, with the waiting of being at the crossroads, um, this things are in crisis at this point. We got being at the crossroads, things having ended, don't know what's gonna happen, but I can't stay here type of thing. And the Wheel of Fortune reverse things. So this could have been someone hopeful um, that things were gonna kind of turn around or nobody knows, I'm giving it time. And then all of a sudden these feelings of closure and ending snuck up on them and they're like, well, crap. And things took a turn for the worse. And this is things not working out. Not it's it's like a run of bad luck, kind of, but it's it's about things not having the potential to progress. The cycle is complete. There's no more sort of being a part of this cycle. It's it's almost like you two have been thrown off the wheel and you're not gonna be cycling with each other anymore, if that makes sense. Like you're not gonna be a part of the same story anymore. Um this is about not progressing forward. Someone being at the crossroads and deciding not to have things move forward. Being at the crossroads and things not working out because they've decided not to progress. Okay. And I, I just want to reiterate Capricorn. It's not because they don't want it. Honestly, I think they just feel like they just can't do this anymore. I think they at one time we're hopeful that, you know, I can do, but they just, they can't. I think they're surprised themselves by how they feel. All right. I hope this was helpful and I hope that you and your person are okay. It seems like this is kind of like you both might be going, oh damn. You know, I, I guess, I guess we shouldn't like it. It feels kind of like this calm disappointment. All right. I hope this was helpful um, and I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care.